Faison, I got a question for you, my brother. We got to ask questions, uh -huh. man. I got a question for you. Yeah. Now, how do you turn tragedy into comedy without mm. coming off insensitive? I'm gonna tell because, you the truth. And, 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 and what, what, what I will say is, I'm gonna give some backstory to that. Damn. I'm You're a comedian. Wait. Yes. We know that, right? You're a comedian, but at the same time, it's no punches hold. Like, you let people know what's up. This is how I feel, this is what I'm gonna say. So, right. in, in your career, how yeah. do you give people that real? It might be a fucked up situation. Like, this, this, this George Floyd shit, it's bad. It's, it's really bad. The world is gonna change because of that. But how do you turn tragedy and turn it into something comedic so that we can now enjoy it? Well, to be honest with you, tragedy is a part of comedy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Always. Always. And I'm with it. True. Because tra comedy comes from the truth. Comedy don't come from bozo. Blah, 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 blah. No, yeah. uh, comedy is the truth. Don't give it to you like medicine. And it's my perspective of, Bill Cosby did a joke a long time ago and people didn't catch it where he didn't, he was, he was like, really? The Bible, are you guys, it was called Noah. Mm -hmm. And he was like, um, God told Noah to build an ark. He was like, right. What's an art? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If yeah. you look, if you listen to the joke, he's giving you game. Good comedy is always gonna be about game, but it's based on tragedy. Richard mm -hmm. Pryor was the best at it. Bill Cosby was the best at it. Um, Bill, Bill Cosby has a, uh, 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 his one was um. Good recordings. I mean, he had so many, but the one was um, to whom to my brother Russell, whom I slept with. Oh, shit! Huh? Yes, yes. This is he him. said yes. Well, what it was about was him growing up in the projects, poor, right? And he flipped that whole joint and told you he, he painted the picture of yeah, we were so poor that we had to sleep in the same bed. Yes, right. Right. Like, how I miss all of this shit? Did y'all post this shit? Yes, they we can, did, nigga. They, they can hear you. <laughs> my, my bad, up. my bad. I'm, I'm in a full crib right now. Everybody, everybody excited. I'm sorry. Y'all got to relax. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, hey, I'm sorry. Relax. Relax. You got to relax. <laughs> Look at uh, the great comics. They always talk about tragedy, uh, and then they and it, and, it, and it goes wow. I mean, Eddie Murphy used to talk about his aunt falling down the stairs. Oh that's yeah, a, that's boom boom boom. Oh my shoe! Oh, it's like yeah. yo. It, but it's tragedy is a part. Uh, if you look at the comedy sign, it's love and tragedy or something like that or some. But that's yeah. what it is. That's valid. So then I, I appreciate that. I appreciate so that. If, if we're doing questions. I want to get to my, my, my real question, but I got to ask you this because it's, it's corny and I got to ask you a corny question. The corny oh, media boy. questions that the corny media questions is always who you think is the best? Who is your favorite? Like, who is your top comedian? It's hard person? to say. It. Listen, it's the top, it's the top. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bill Cosby, Richard Pryor, Red Fox. Um, Freddie Prince. Um, Freddie Prince. For, yeah, see, he guys don't even know nigga shit. No, no, I damn sure don't. No, I'm Dame not gonna old. lie. They know I'm that shit. Lie. Wait, real quick, real quick. Fuck. No, no, no. You hit me with one that I don't know. Literally, only thing I know is Freddie Prince Jr. That's that white dude that was in movies. His his uh, father was one of the best. Get the fuck out of here. Who? So so you learning me right now? <laughs> like who is Freddie, Freddie Prince? Prince. The black dude. He, no, he's a Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Okay. Okay. He did he, he only show he did. He used to do the Tony and Orlando show all the time. Huh. But um he he was he was brilliant. He, um he, I'm gonna look he used him to do a show called 
Chico and the Man. Okay, no, no, I'm gonna look him up because I know Freddie Prince Jr. I've heard of him, yeah, but I've never heard of Freddie his dad. I've never heard of him. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. okay. it was was oh my god, he was he was he was amazing. Um, I thought for um, okay. Richard really, uh, I'm a I'm a student of comedy, so um, I I really fucks with it. So it's kind of hard. It's really comedy is really about your taste, but right? When you really go, who are the game changers? Right. Who changed the game of comedy? Richard mm -hmm. Pryor, Bill Cosby, right. George Harlan, Freddie Prince, Red George Fox. Harlan. Yeah, definitely. Look at any of those guys right now and be like, oh, yeah, on the floor. So those, those I mean, I so mean, uh, I, everybody uh, gives me flack because I, yeah. I was like, yeah. Just, I gotta say, Dave Chappelle. He, he, all right, he cool. He, he got. He it got was coming. Jokes. You know it was coming, bro. You I, know it was, was coming. coming. You like, know it was coming. Wait, wait, wait! I got a fucking question. I got a you question. Gonna... Okay. Okay, so you have went on record with saying that Dave Chappelle got big because of the white folks and not the black folks. Uh, I said, That's your... I'm sorry. I'm just... black. He 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 got big. Not because of us, pretty much. That's White thing. folks put them on, yes. They're cool. Well, but, okay, well, I, go, ask the question first so before I... Damn no, no, go, go ahead, Dame. Go ahead, Dame. We go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead. I just want to say, seriously, when you said that, I was like, the world ain't going to like this. But apparently I'm an old nigga. So I was kind of like, but I remember. He wasn't, like, he wasn't around. No offense to Dave. It's like, Dave is dope. But I remember the Def Comedy Jam days. It wasn't like, and Dave Chappelle. It wasn't. It really legitimately wasn't. And for the right. most part, he didn't. And it, it, uh, y'all know me. It's no shade. I saw him in a blue denim shirt and was like, who is this guy? That was the shit he did on Comedy Central. Period. Then after that, I saw Half Baked. Fast forward Dave Chappelle show. That's it. And then all of a sudden, we get the other one where it's worth it. And then all of a sudden, he's the greatest comedian ever. I'm not saying he's not one of the great. I'm just kind of like, but who the fuck is, you know, I, I, bro, I'm a, I told you I'm from Chicago. Um, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting high and drunk, so I'm going to try not to do that. But end of the day, I understood when you said it, but I, I also was like, yeah, the world not going to like this right now. This is going to be terrible. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they, I know. I was there. I, I saw Bernie Mac get down. I mean, in a yeah. little room, get down. I saw Bernie Mac rise. I saw him. Yeah. Robin Harris rise. Can you know I? What I'm okay. Ugh. I'm sorry. This was my question. I had one question. Okay. Did they have beef? Because I always heard that Robin Harris thought that Bernie Mac was still in his shit, and then I heard that the people was kind of like divided on who was like the king of Chicago at the time. This is the question I want to ask you. And I'm talking like my soul. Yeah. Wants to know. But Bernie was just kind of coming along, and um, I think he loved Robin, and Robin, and Robin had love for everybody. Robin, yeah. Robin, Robin would talk, come up to you and he talk to you. He talked shit to you, but right. he was just, you know, he was a, he was a blue collar guy. It wasn't all this fancy shit. Hi, yeah. we'll see you. What's on? He was a real, a real nigga. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So it was no, um, it was, Robin told you exactly, you know, like, uh, the guys that wanted to learn, he was like, man, I'm just up there entertaining motherfuckers. What do you say? Uh, yeah. Bernie came along a little afterwards, and it, it, his cadence was a little bit like, when me and Bernie first met, I thought he was still in Robin's act. Right. So I was like, right. what are you doing? And right. then me and him, we had, <laughs> we had to do this TV show. I Actually, we didn't have to. Russell Simmons and um, Stan Lathan was like, it's only one person to do play your brother, and that's Faison. And he's like, well, me and Faison got, you know, we had some work. <laughs> right. And um, Bernie Mac sat down in that room, and that was in 1992 or 90, 92. And we was, we was, Bro, we I was, was two. <laughs> we was in love ever since then. It was like, Bernie, yeah, but that's Bernie why. That's why, like, a certain question I wanted to ask you is kind of like, I'm a little older. I, was, I wasn't too. I a little bit. I'm from Chicago. A little so bit. Let him finish. Let him finish. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I do bro, know. when I tell you, I, I want to show this to my aunties. And they be like, oh my God, he know the real story. Like, I was there at the cock club when, when um, R. Kelly get up there on amateur night and do his. You know what I'm saying? Now. So. Damn. Wait, getting a little R. too Kelly, excited. I can't get R. Kelly, R. 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 Kelly was still raping people. You stupid. I, I ain't got. I don't know how to <laughs> yo, yo, you want to see a nigga backslip real quick? Say, ah, <laughs> now everybody back out of R. Kelly chair. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that nigga face off got out of there real quick. That nigga said, oh, oh. yeah. Yo. Like, oh, I ain't said the name. <laughs> Yo, right, Barbie, what, what's the next topic, Barbie? No, wait, no, no, what, but, but real quick, though. So, no. so, 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 just so, so to answer my question, Bernie Mac was not stealing from Robert Harris, you don't think? No. 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 Okay. I mean, no, he just, listen, back then, back then, it was only a few comedians, and there's only one black comedy club. Right. So, we all had to perform at that comedy club. I mean, that comedy club was built on Robin Harris. So, um, at that time, it wasn't TV. Bernie Mac wasn't on TV back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, was, he was local. He was local. Yeah, it was, that was it. it was, Nobody knew who he was. His, his family had a barber shop. I mean, I, 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 all, you know, it was like go to bar. You, you see Bernie? So, nah, I would never know. Bernie was a cold piece. He was he was, he was a cold piece. You see, he shut down. I, <laughs> Steve Harvey was supposed to be the headliner of uh, the Kings of Comedy. Insisted on it, and then Bernie was like, "Okay, Bernie cool. Was, okay, <laughs> and came right. through with heat, 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 heat." After that, yeah. it was like, "Ah, uh, why don't you close, Bernie?" Yeah, I, I, I thought so. <laughs> now that's real. That's real. <laughs> <laughs>